and for them to both kick in. And here we go. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. I am Tim Music. We are here with another edition of What's New here at JB Prince. What's new and noteworthy, however you want to refer to it. We're just happy that you're here and you're tuned in. Um, and very, very excited. Uh, for those of you who just kind of chimed in, uh, I just want to let you know things start a little bit weirder than some of the original ones. We kind of have an Instagram Live thing going on for all you IG people, and then we have a Facebook Live going on simultaneously. So there is a minor delay between the two. So thank you for bearing with us. We're just, again, happy to have you join us and see you here. And we are back yet again with something new. Uh, I know we have been doing lots of cookware stuff, but there's kind of been a lot of innovation in cookware, and we want to tell you kind of sort of where the innovation is and what's coming out and what's new. Um, we thank you so much. We think this is an awesome opportunity for us to get to talk to you uh, on not such an intimate scale, on more of a kind of broad uh, macro scale, if you will, but we are very, very interested in your input. If you want to send us uh, some Facebook messages, let us know if there's anything else that we should be talking about or something else we should be trying to do. We'd be happy to hear from you. Uh, we want this to be a collaborative effort, if you will, or an opportunity to talk to you guys. And with all of that being said, I'd like to jump right in. So in front of me, uh, we have something that you guys may think is not so new, because we've done several different, um, how shall I say, what's new at JB Prince uh, demonstrations with kind of sort of a, a new line of pans, probably about 12 to 14 months new in the world, probably about seven months new here at JB Prince. And it is called Os Ion, um, made by a company called Solid Technics, coming out of Australia. We have, this is, I believe, our third Facebook Live related to products from this uh, pan company. And the reason we keep coming back to them is because they keep innovating. Uh, and not only innovating, but kind of sort of offering some, some solutions or some tweaks on some classic products that we've always sold that we still love. And this is just kind of a rethink of those things. So in front of me we have basically two fry pans, which you've kind of seen these before uh, in another incarnation, and we'll, we'll go into that in one second, and a sauté-ish kind of cast iron shape uh, skillet, uh, if you will. Um, and just to get right into it, what makes these pans worth talking about or so new and different is something that we all look at in pans, whether it be stainless steel, whether it be aluminum, whether it be nonstick, and that's the finish, how the pan is finished and what it kind of sort of looks like. And this line happens to be what's referred to as the Os Ion Satin Finish. So just to kind of uh, go back a little bit and recap, the first Os Ion pans that we sold were what they refer to now as their smooth finish. And the distinction is simply this. The smooth finish pans came to market and they had a slight patina or a uh, built up or a break in. So I think as most of you know, this is a steel based pan, a carbon steel based pan. So it will rust if it's not taken care of properly. It needs to be hand washed, dried and then uh, dried well and then either, you know, sometimes people put them back on pack on fire to get rid of some of the excess moisture, maybe launch them in a warm oven to make sure some of that extra moisture cooks off, and then lightly rub with kind of sort of a neutral oil to make sure that they don't rust in between uses. And you're looking to build up what is referred to as a patina or a, a kind of sort of a black coloring, if you will. And again, I'll, I'll revisit that shortly. So what has happened from Os Ion is their first launch of pans were kind of sort of pre-broken in or pre-patinaed which is awesome, makes a lot of our lives much easier. But we also know, we also know, and also Ion, I think, also understood that there is a lot of people that prefer or want to try and build up their own patina in a pan. So they've basically created a finish that allows you to do that on your own. And what they mean by satin, and I'm going to kind of sort of stop to talk for a second so you can kind of hear textually how the pan sounds with my hand rubbing. I hope you can pick up on it out there. I'll put it a little closer to the mic. I know it seems kind of silly, but it's, a, it's kind of a little bit more of a gritty feel. Um, I don't think the camera there is going to pick it up, unfortunately, and that's why I kind of did, did that hand rub motion. Um, and in essence, 
the feel or the finish mimics kind of sort of like a new cast iron uh, pan. It's almost, some people may refer to it as orange peel. Some people may refer to it as just like uh, textured or, or pebbled, if you will. It's not quite that extreme. But it does have a little extra texture that was absent in the Smooth series that we still sell, by the way, if you still like that. So, and what that really allows you to do is it creates more surface area on the pan, those little kind of it's very, very, very undetectable little cracks and crevices. And that means is as you break in the, the pan, the patina really has something to hold on to, a little bit of a stronger bond. And so you will create kind of a longer lasting kind of beautiful patina. They've kept a lot of the same wonderful features that existed in the first pan. That meaning that the pan is rivetless. I'm gonna try and hold that there so you guys can see it. This is made out of one piece, handle and body, all fixed together. There's no rivets, there's no seams, there's no welding. One whole piece construction, which really makes a really, really super durable product. If you take proper care of it, there's no reason why you shouldn't have this in your will and leaving it to your grandkids. It's a serious, serious piece of equipment. The handle has been vented, so when you do heat it up, there's less of a heat transfer from the actual hot surface of the pan to the handle. As we all know, in the kitchen world, we use side towels to kind of prevent burning ourselves. Some of you home types might use a pot holder or something to that effect. Um, the handle's flat with a slight bend in it. Makes a really wide handle. That gives you something to hold on to, so the pan is not as easy to twist and torque in your hand like some of the round handles that are out there or hollow handles of some other pans that we know. So you get a good grip on things. And then lastly, this cool little finishing touch, uh, because the pans are coming from Australia, made in Australia, for all of you though, excuse me, for those of you who don't know geography, that is supposed to be Australia, which uh, also acts as like a hook, some place to hang these up if you want to do it uh, and work that way. So these are two shapes that we have kind of sort of had in the lineup. Um, a nine inch-ish, seven inch-ish, a little bit smaller, so uh, you're kind of your a la minute or your single maybe portion, if you had maybe uh, one or two uh, entree size portions you wanted to do in this one. Um, those are the two options that are there. And in addition to introducing the new satin finish, we've also introduced a new shape, which I mentioned quickly before. And that's really, if you look at it, and I'll kind of sort of hold it from the side there, hopefully you guys can see it. To me, and maybe I'm, maybe I'm stretching it a little bit, but it really kind of, to me, mimics uh, a more traditional kind of sort of cast iron shape. Um, it's a lot deeper, so it's a, and, it, and it's tapered, so you wouldn't really call it a saute pan. It's not straight side. It has a little taper to it. So, again, I don't, another thing, I don't know if you guys are picking on it, that's about an 8-inch French steel pan. I'm just kind of sort of holding it out there. It's not super duper heavy. It still has the density. Um, it still has the good heat retention properties that a stainless steel pan would have, but because some of these holes have been punched out, because there's no rivets and extra material, it does, does have a good weight to it. It's not overly heavy or, or overdone. Um, we just happen to think that's an awesome shape. Uh, if, you, if you need that extra depth or height, you could probably shallow fry in it in addition to just sear. Um, maybe you wanted to you know, build something up in it a little bit more. You might even be able to get away with something like a tart tartan if you wanted to have that real caramelized finish. Handle might get in the way in the unmolding, but uh, that's for you guys to work out. Sorry, I'm going off on some tangents here. And just to give you kind of sort of an idea, I say the word patina or break in. We happen to have, we're fortunate, this is another pan that we have in the Smooth series. This is actually their uh, crepe pan, which is awesome. Four millimeter thick steel pan in the other series here. And this is what you're looking for, this kind of sort of grayish black finish, still super smooth, and essence what you've done here, as you build up this patina and as you've cared for this pan, you've created a naturally non-stick surface. It's awesome, there's nothing better. There's no sprays, there's no chemicals, there's nothing to worry about when it comes to introducing things into your food or more importantly into your body or your customers bodies that you may be concerned with um, this is kind of sort of, sort of you know pre teflon uh, and all those things this is what people relied on so again if you, you take care of these wonderful tools they'll take care of you for a very very long time 
Again, I wanted to thank you all for joining us this week. Instagram people, Facebook people, chefs all around. It's been awesome. Again, don't forget www.jbprince.com is where you can find a lot of these things. We really appreciate your time. We love that you're participating. Share as much as you can with us, and we promise to share as much as we can with you. Thank you very much, and we'll see you guys really soon. Have a great weekend.